So for some reason, they have decided to reboot Good Times from back in the day, but as an animation series that ain't as wholesome as what it used to be. But let's go to Kami Hype for this story. Last week, fans of the classic Good Times will get their first look at the animated series version of the iconic show, which debuted back in 1974. I have important news. Let me guess. The state called, and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. <laughs> Who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. The series taken from the life of writer and creator Eric Monty, who grew up in the Cabrini Green Projects, would spotlight the Evans family who lived in the Chicago Projects, and would highlight the many obstacles they faced as a family. Now Netflix, along with Seth MacFarlane, the late Norman Lear, and NBA player Steph Curry, is set to premiere the animated series in April. Along with the announcement and first looks, the cast of the new series would also be revealed. J.B. Smoove, Yvette Nicole Brown, Jay Farrell, Marcy Martin, Godfrey Slink Johnson, Rashida Oliwala, Tisha Campbell Martin, and social media star Pretty V are all reported to have lended their voices for the animation. Voiceover veteran Cree Summers is also attached to the project as a voice director. Listen, if you want to go the route of shock value and, you know, a new raunchy kind of show... Why not just make a brand new show? Why reboot Good Times and sully the good family name and integrity that that show was founded on? And then why have Seth MacFarlane, the white man, uh, oversee it? Obviously, he did a great job with Family Guy and American Dad and in animation, you know what I'm saying? But he is a white man. So why would you rely on him to have the viewpoint and the and the kind of thought process of what a black family is going through. That doesn't add up to me. I mean, we saw the result of when he did it with the Cleveland show. It failed miserably. You know, it is a black writer. We're not a shepherd, but that's just one. And with Seth MacFarlane involved, how many other white writers is going to be in the rooms steering the conversation and the and the uh, topics of the show? You dig what I'm saying? I mean, why not somebody like Aaron Magruder, who did a fantastic job with the Boondocks? But... Then again, I could see why it, they probably they may have approached Aaron Gruder. And I can see why he would have turned it down if that were to be the case. Because why reboot good times? But most of all, if you didn't want to go family friendly and into the space of integrity and pride that good times carried, then don't reboot the show off of that. Just make a brand new show. Now, upon research, it doesn't appear that many online fans were happy with some of the first look images coming from the animated project. One user on X would write, I've got conflicting feelings about this animated reboot of the classic Good Times. Would Leave It to Beaver, the Waltons, or the Brady Bunch ever get animated like this? They should have just made a completely new series because I would have never thought this was Good Times. Ugh, this looks gross. And man, this remake is not looking good at all in disrespect to the OG show. For some, the first look images would be an issue compared to the show's original format, as it appears that the show's integrity and attention from creators Eric Monty and Mike Evans may get lost pushing narratives that reinforces negative stereotypes about black people. Now, in an exclusive statement given to Comedy Hype, the Monty and Evans families have announced that they aren't affiliated with the new series and are not approving of or blessing the new project. The families of Eric Monty and Mike Evans do not support nor have granted permission for the animated reboot of Good Times. From the looks of it, it appears that Norman Lear, before his passing, will move forward on the concept without Monty's and Evans' consent. And despite the ongoing reports that the original Good Times was stolen by him from Eric Monty and co-creator Mike Evans. They always say it's black folks to be stealing. They, I can't remember what comedian said this, but they was like, you scared of black folks stealing. Black folks steal your car. White folks steal countries. <laughs> It'd be stuff like this. Like they take black ideas and they run with it and they profit off of it heavily, even if you don't agree with how they're profiting off of it. As long as they didn't finagle that paperwork the right way, you out of luck. So we'll see if the Monte family and the Evans family will have any say so in the pushback of this show, but it don't look like they are going to be able to have that. Those in the YouTube verse have learned in recent times that Lear looks to have taken majority of the credit and financial reward of a series he did not create. 
One of the main concerns from the families is that Eric Monty, Mike Evans' work stood for black empowerment and positive black imagery, and that this new project looks to not depict positive black imagery, as the men weren't there to make money, but to make history. You can obviously see the thotastic imagery of our women being shown as you know, the weaves and the sandals, like my man O'Shea Duke Jackson say, with the BBLs and all of that, right? And, and the fake titties is all blonde. We it's all right here in this one picture. They also took strong issue with some of their early press coverage that would mention Eric Monty and Mike Evans in a way that could mislead audiences that they were affiliated with the animated version. Carlina Evans, daughter of co-creator Mike Evans, has also spoken out about the matter, as she would reveal in a recent interview expressing that it was expected for the animated series to have gone through the proper protocol because Eric Monty and Mike Evans own the intellectual property of the show, while Sony only owns the show. I'm going to keep everything on the surface. Those rights are very much there, uh, very much real. Any reboot or recreation of Good Times, we need to agree. We need to be paid. We need to license it off. Uh, and that is with any recreation. So it sounds like the families do have a say-so, but I, I'm, I'm confused as to how the show got this far. This show is supposed to premiere sometime in April. I guess mid-April, late April. So I'm confused as how this show got this far, knowing as much time as it takes to animate just one episode of a cartoon. Like, a year at least, I believe. So, how did this show get this far without them having say-so and being properly compensated for the show? But not even just being compensated, if they're to be compensated, they have to agree first with the show for it to go forth, for them to then be compensated for it. And that agreement seems to clearly not be there. As of this report, it's unclear what Netflix or Sony has to say about the current backlash. Former Boondocks producer Carl Jones and Renata Shepard are reported to have co-created the animated series. Neither has yet to respond. And as far as Eric Monty, he would recently turn 80 years old and is expected to release new projects under his Eric Monty Productions company, EMP, as he enjoys his family in Atlanta. Monty just received a proclamation for his own day on March the 17th in Stonecrest, Georgia, given to him by Stonecrest Film Committee. He was also honored for Black History Month at the NBA G League's Wisconsin Herd for his contribution to sitcom history and black culture, and he is still advocating for positive black imagery. So, he is uh, living a very wonderful and full life, but I would hope that they would stop stressing my brother out, being that he's 80 years old, and do right by him, because he honestly clearly does not agree with this imagery that's being put out. It's not the vision that he had for his show when they did Good Times originally. Good Times was a great show. It showed um, a great family unit. And, and it was constantly being attacked at that point when they created it. They wanted to create the family with, with um, Florida being a single mother. She had to stand on, on her, her ground and she said, "I'm not going. I'm not going to be in the show if you're not going to give me a husband for my my family." Imagine that. Like you have to fight for just that. Like like black families didn't have husbands and wives together and family units together. And that's something that's a lot more common now, given the effort that the government has put into breaking up the black family over the years purposely. But in the '60s and '70s, like black families were strong then, before. They were purposely attacked by the government to be separated. You know, so it was constantly the rhetoric that was trying to be portrayed a certain way. But they stuck to their vision of what they wanted the show to be. And it showed, even though this family wasn't affluent, they weren't this, they weren't that. It showed the regular family of America. Most black families who struggle from check to check, but they love each other. They are integral. They want each other to grow to be better. They want to keep each other out of trouble. You want to raise your kids to be the best that they can be. And, and it just shows the fight of the family unit that we clearly don't have today. And all I'm saying is that we don't need more imagery that is to keep separating the, the black family. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what the show is going to be about, but it clearly doesn't fit 
the creators of the show's vision. And if it doesn't fit that, then just make you a new show. I'm not saying you can't create whatever show that you see in your mind. If you want an updated version of a black family that's loving on each other or whatever, whatever, that's great. But create your own version of that with its own name and its own creation. Don't piggyback off of good times and then make it something that's totally against what good times stood for. I haven't seen the show. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to check it out because I want to see if they are really being disrespectful that disrespectful to the show, see the contrast of it. But I, I, I'm so far, I'm disappointed. You know, so far, I, I'm, I'm like, why, why would they do that when you could have just left good times alone? Let it stand alone as a classic as it was. And let us keep watching our reruns of it. And loving it that way. We we don't we didn't need this new creation of it that is something different than what it was meant to be. But this is your boy P Cam. Let me know what you think about it, what you don't think about it. Get at your boy. <laughs>